Hey everyone, Techni here with one uh, hold, hold on. Where where the heck was that intro? Where hold on. Alright, nah 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 nah. Let's get that out of here. We're not gonna be using any more intro here. No more intros. I just figured let's get straight to the point as I'm over here talking to you about my intro, not getting to the point, but anyways, no more intros. Straight to the point. All right, so what we have here today is a 65% mechanical gaming keyboard from Durgod and HK Gaming. It's called the Durgod Hades right here. And again, 65% board. I gotta thank HK Gaming for sending this keyboard out for review. And let me tell you what, just straight off the bat, this is my new favorite keyboard. I mean, it's just, wow. Now I know someone out there is saying, oh man, well this guy's just saying all this great stuff about it because it's sponsored by this company or whatever. No, trust me, no, that is not why. I honestly love it. And we're going to talk about some of the specs and look at it and everything. And you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. But what I would like to do to even prove that point is we have one to give away as well right here. Now the one I have that I'm testing is Cherry MX Reds. This one is using Gatoron Reds. But again, it is that fantastic that we're going to give one away so someone else can actually see it as well. And just, I'm telling you, it is that good. But hey, let's check it out. All right, so what did you guys think about those close-ups right there? Me personally, I absolutely love it. It's crisp, it's sleek, it's to the point, there's no crazy branding on it, 65%, so you have to start your shortcuts and your arrows right there. I mean, it is just solid, it, it really is. Let me, let me point out a few things that really stand out on this keyboard to me. Number one, before anything, is the build quality. This entire keyboard, from underneath the keys, to the back, all around the edge here, is aluminum. Yeah, the entire thing. This whole casing right here is one piece. They're not pressed into each other. One complete piece, as you can see right there. All aluminum. So that's number one. Straight out the box when you feel this thing, the build quality is just one of a kind. I mean, this thing is solid. It's heavy duty. It is just built incredibly fantastic. Now, a few other things that really stand out on this keyboard for me, uh, again, going back to that 60% build, I really love it. Again, you got your shortcuts and everything right there with a very compact build. You, it almost feels just like a 60% board, but you get your little shortcuts over here, right? So you have that really nice compact build right here. But the cool thing about it, and this is the first one I've seen like this. See those little lights right up there? Let me, let, where's my button? Here we go. See how it went on? That's our cap lock. Now our caps are off. And you actually program those to anything. You do wind lock, scroll lock, num lock. Uh, you actually, in the software, you can adjust those lights to whichever option you want to do. Again, I got mine on, I think, uh, scroll lock, wind lock, and then the cap lock right there, and it'll show right there. I have not used a compact 60, 65% board or whatever that actually had those notifications right up top there. So they're really utilizing that space right there, which is as tiny and corny and pointless as that sounds, that is a major, major benefit on this guy. And another thing that's really cool about this board is you can get it in multiple kinds of switches, from your Gatoron, to your Cherry MX, to your Kale Box, and it's just so cool. You can shoot, and they have them in all the colors, the reds, the browns, the blues, and again, across all three brands right there, you know, so you can really get that keyboard that suits you perfectly. Now, they do vary in price uh, per key, but uh, right now, again, I believe they range from somewhere around uh, 130 to like 119 or something like that, pending on Switch again. But right now on Amazon, there's actually a $15 coupon that you can apply to any brand of the keys right there. Hey, I got the link for this keyboard right down in the description, by the way. And again, last time I checked, that coupon was still uh, available to get $15 off it. Now, this keyboard does connect by USB, as you saw in the close-ups. If we can get some focus right there, you can see it goes into that notch right there. And again, it connects by the USB. Now they do give you your standard USB and you also get a C to C USB right there. And they also actually give you a cable tie right there too because these USBs are pretty long and they're actually nice and heavy duty. So it's pretty cool that they give you that extra touch. But anyways, like I said, it connects right in the back there and it goes in actually into the keyboard right here, as you can see, there we go. So now we are actually in there. Now you do get a very mild amount of wobble just a very small pinch, but it's really cool because it's actually 
you know, the USB goes into the casing of the keyboard right there. And again, it's in there pretty stinking snug. Now on the bottom of the keyboard, as you can see right here, you have your four rubber feet on each corner there. Now you do not have any feet that pop out or any that you can put on there. It's just pretty much like this, but it's really nice. As you see the, uh, how it goes up right here, it's very nice and ergonomic feel. As you see, it's not dead flat, but again, it kind of slopes up and it just, it honestly fits perfect right there because it just flows perfectly with that slight raise right there. All the keys are nice and uh, balanced going straight up there at a nice incline. It feels really nice. All right, so now talking about the keys, you do get a key puller, one of these little wire ones in your box right there. It's pretty cool. Your bigger keys have those mock switches so you get the nice stabilizer. So no matter where you press the key, it feels balanced across the thing. And the cool thing on this keyboard, since you got that aluminum base and aluminum outside, you don't get any ting. And it's pretty cool because like you said, your keys go into the housing right there. So it's just a really solid sound. It's really crisp and just solid. No ting, it doesn't sound light or anything. Again, it just sounds very crisp and solid. Let's go on and get a quick sound test. All right, so what did you guys think about the sound test right there? I don't know how well the ca camera can pick that up right there, but this, again, this thing is just crisp and it is solid. I keep going back to the ducky because that's the best sounding keyboard I've used yet, and that's the exact result I get with this. Again, it's, it's crisp and it's solid. No tings, no nothing, no high pitch. Again, it just feels incredibly solid. Now there is one downfall, and it's probably the only negative I can find with this keyboard, that it just comes with ABS sprayed, ABS keycaps right here. As you can see, I kind of wish they were double shot uh, PBT, but again, as I mentioned before, this is my new favorite keyboard. I'm gonna want to customize it. I'm gonna want to throw some custom keycaps on it, so I'm fine with that. You know, maybe give me some red ones or something, maybe some white ones. I, I don't know, we'll do something cool with it, you know? So I'm kind of fine with that, but straight out the door, it would have been nice if they had some double shot PBTs on it. All right, now let's go ahead and talk this RGB. And I mean, just look at this guy. Look at how crisp it is. I have three massive lights right here, and still look how crisp it is. And that flow that you see right there, I mean, it is butter smooth. The color just goes right into the other one, and it's so smooth, it doesn't look glitchy or anything. It's bright, it's crisp, so nice. You can get your F2 right here and cycle through some options. You got that raindrop deal, whatever right here little reactive, where's my button? Some solid colors, then that where it cycles around, a little radar type of look, and then back to our rainbow. But you can cycle through it through so many more. As you see right up here, if you can see, you have P1, 2, and 3. So you can set different profiles on this and set your different RGB modes per profile. So you can cycle, bam, right to that other one, set some macros or your RGB again. And all this can be adjusted on the software. And there's so many more options on the software to adjust RGB and stuff. You know what? Let me show you the software real quick. All right, so we are now in the Durgot software. And real quick, before we go any further, I just want to let you know that this is a beta version of the software. As you can see, uh, they released the official version in September. But honestly, even when you dive into this as... Uh, basic and classic as this looks, it's pretty stinking easy. Now it's pretty cool, you can create different projects right here, within each project will have three profiles. Really cool, again, you can have whichever one you want downloaded to the keyboard right there. Pop over here to edit, edit all your keys, what your function buttons do right here, just very, very easy. Bam, pop right down here to lighting, you have your different modes right there, which you can get into custom colors, different effects right there. Again, even though this software is beta, it's incredibly easy to use. At first, it's kind of intimidating. It's just kind of like, okay, what's going on, you know? But again, get to using it, super duper stinking easy. One thing I want to point to, again, you got your three profiles right over here. I only keep one active, so I don't accidentally activate another one. And then bam, as you can see, you come over here and just download whichever uh, profile you have or how you customized it right there. But one thing I want to point out, I just showed you earlier, those three indicator lights that were up on the top of the keyboard, really, really cool touch. As you see, I got caps lock scroll, and then Windows Lock, and you can customize it to whichever one you want. If you want to show which profile you're on right there, so you don't mistakenly have an, a different profile, or, or your num locks, whatever, really cool. As cheesy as it sounds, not many, if any, other 60% or 65% keyboards that I've seen at least have that notification up there, and that is a massive, massive bonus on this keyboard. Again, for me, because again, I like using my keyboards for work and gaming, and this little shortcut right here makes it very, very helpful when you're doing basic daily work. All right, so as far as that software right there, yeah, it needs some work, but again, as you're showing right there, it's in beta mode right there, and even though that's in beta, it's still very, very easy to use. But again, I know I keep saying it, and I said in the beginning that this is my favorite keyboard, and it's just love having this keyboard on my desk right here. 
there's just so many things about it. It's easy for daily use because, again, you have your shortcuts. You have your arrows right there. You have your indicators right up there. I know some of you might be thinking, man, that's so cheesy, but it's not. It's so helpful. The build is hands down the best build I have seen in any keyboard I have reviewed yet. That's right. The best out of any keyboard I have reviewed yet. It is that solid. The only downfall is the keycaps right there. The RGB is crisp. I mean, this thing is worth every single penny. Now, one of you are also gonna be able to have this keyboard on your desk as well, because we are gonna be giving away the Hades keyboard with Gatoron red switches right here. Now, how to enter that giveaway, number one, you gotta be a subscriber. Number two, what I want you to do is share this video on one of your social media platforms, whether that be Twitter, uh, Facebook, or whatever other ones are out there, Instagram and all that. Just spread the word about this awesome keyboard. So share this video on one of those platforms. Then down in the comments, what I want you to do is write which platform you shared it on. So if it's Twitter, you write Twitter, and then next to that, I want you to write which keyboard you're using currently. So say if it's Twitter and then like K55 or whatever, write that down there, you know? So again, make sure you share it on what social media platform you're a subscriber. And then again, you leave those down in the comments with your current keyboard and then which platform you did share it on. The giveaway will end on September 1st. So make sure you enter to do all these. This is going to end on September 1st right there. And yes, it is only U.S. shipping, which really stinks. I know. I seriously apologize about that. But again, that shipping is so, so expensive. I really I mean, even shipping this thing in the U.S. is going to be expensive because this sucker is stinking heavy. So yeah, like I said, the giveaway ends on September 1st. That just only gives us two weeks right here. This is exciting. Kind of right on the point, you know. Spot on right there. Coming up real quick. I'm excited for it. I hope you are as well. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I highly appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.